Hi, this uh, this blog is uh, very much spur of the moment. We just received a, uh, just came up from coaching, and we just received a blog uh, question um, about interest. How do we, wanted to know that how we keep somebody's interest up. We make a, a point that interest must proceed fun. Uh, and for very good reason. If you tell somebody something's going to be fun and, and they're not getting it or they're not enjoying themselves, they say, well, this isn't fun. But if you make something interesting, people will hang in. Will hang in when it's not working out. Say, well, this is interesting. And I think the first, uh, and the question was, how do we get students interested? I think the first thing we do, or we would suggest you do, is ask, you know, hi, Oh, Mrs. Smith. Hi, Mrs. Smith. Do you have a game plan for us today? What would you like to work on? I don't want to seem like uh, that uh, we have all the answers yet. Um, so involve them. See what they want to work on. And then I think one of the really pillars of neural learning for golf is make people feel smart. You don't stand there and say, that's an awful golf swing. Where did you get that grip? That, that's not, that's, we see that on TV sometimes and, uh, and, and certainly do not uh, mimic or make fun or they think you're making fun of a, a, a move that you don't particularly care for. Now to keep their interest up, create choices. You know, do you like the ball here? Do you like the ball here? Do you like the ball here? What would be your preference? Uh, you, you know, do you like backswing A, do you like backswing B, do you like backswing C? Anything to involve the student in your, your, your coming up with a cooperative answer. You're, 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 you're a team and that will keep people interested. And hopefully people are experiencing something more than they can read in a book. Whether about the grip or the backswing or alignment uh, I, I think some people in, in, in lessons are experiencing nothing more than what is in a book. And I'm not sure that that's good coaching. Uh, we, know, we know people who probably know every word of the golf machine and really aren't having a whole lot of fun on the golf course or making a whole lot of progress. Um, and there are some coaching approaches that appear to be uh, providing information that could be in chapter one, two, or three uh, of any book. So hopefully we're providing an environment that uh, provides insights that go beyond what would be in somebody's book, uh, hopefully. I'd like to recommend a journal. It's called the International Journal of Sports Science and Coaching. I've been getting it for years, and I have many of them. And this, it's all research mostly about self-discovery learning, mostly about uh, coaches or guides, mostly about helping, uh, and this I've been getting these for years, mostly about helping students discover their own way through problems and making them feel smart. That's the goal. People feel smart, they'll stay interested.